Hi, my name's Matthew Oliver. I am the veg gardener here at RHS Garden Hyde Hall in the Global Growth Vegetable Garden. And today I'm gonna to show you how to pot up uh, newly delivered bare root strawberry plants. So now we're in the dormant season, it's a fantastic time to be planting all fruit plants um, because the plants are not actively growing and therefore they can be sent through mail order as bare root plants. And bare root means that they come in not in a pot and with not any soil or compost around them. Um, so you can get lots delivered in a very small parcel. So today I'm going to be planting a variety called Cambridge Favourite, um, which is a very old variety, extremely popular, and one of the ones that's considered best for flavour. These have arrived uh, in the post and we want to pot them up straight away so that the roots don't desiccate out and the plants die. Um, I'm going to be potting these up into a three litre pot and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to force these plants for an early crop next year. So we'll pot these up, now live in the cold frame through the winter and then about February, late February, March time, I'll bring them into our glass house and I'll plunge plant this pot in the greenhouse into the soil um, and the extra heat in the greenhouse will help um, spur these plants into life and the idea is we'll get earlier flowering and earlier fruiting and we should have a crop of strawberries for around Easter time if I do this well. Alternatively, if you don't have a glass house, it's now exactly the same time to plant these up um, and you can plant them straight out into the beds in the garden, directly into the soil, and they will flower and fruit for you at the normal time, which is about June next year. So what we're using is we're using a peat-free potting compost. Um, this is a, a bark-based mix. Um, because we are planting plants that are going to be in these pots for a fairly substantial amount of time, uh, you could use a more loam-based compost. That's a, a compost that's got uh, soil or mineral content in it. That'll give it a bit of extra weight and a bit more fertility. But this peat-free mix is absolutely fine. All we've got to do is remember when we start the plants into growth in the spring, we need to be a bit more regular with the feeding so they've got the, the energy to produce a crop for us. That's really easy. Only one thing you really need to remember with strawberries and that is to pay close attention to where the crown of the plant is. Um, and it's very easy to plant strawberries too deep um, because they've got a very short and stubby crown to the plant. And it's very easy to pot them up right to the base of the leaves, but really you've got to pay attention and I need to get the soil level to the, just to the tops of the roots. So I want to spread the roots out nicely in the pot, hold the plant where we need it, just nice and loosely scoop the compost into place and just tap down a little bit to get all the air pockets out. Don't want to firm in too much, you still want it nice and loose and airy. Top up to make sure we're correct for level but we also want to make sure that we're leaving a slight rim around the top of the pot so that when we water, the water doesn't just run straight out the sides, it does actually drain through the pot. And that's it. That'll go in the cold frame. And the reason we'll be putting these out in the cold frame immediately after potting them on is because they do actually need exposure to the cold weather in the winter months in order to uh, encourage the plant to flower and fruit well uh, later on in the summer. So we'll bring that indoors uh, early spring next year. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a fantastic crop off of them. Mm -hmm.